Well, okay, let's see. Log in. Hopefully, somebody out there will be able to help me out. Do I need any? I don't think I will. Log I have in. a good idea. Hopefully, somebody out there will be able to help me out. I need any? I don't think I will. Yeah. I have a good idea. Hopefully, somebody out there will be able to help me out. I need any? I don't think I will. Yeah. I have a good idea. Hopefully, somebody out there will be able to help me out. Do I need any? I don't think I will. Yeah. I have a good idea. Hopefully, somebody out there will be able to help me out. I'm trying to uh, <laughs> scale up the hunt. I have no clue how to do that. At all. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Not good. Oh well. I'm trying to uh, <laughs> scale up the... Oh, there we go. Excellent. Didn't realize I was unmuted. I should... Uh... I guess I could always just switch back and forth between the two. Oh well. So basically, I'm trying to make a infinite state machine grammar. So I I started working on this like two hours ago. But well, not really two hours ago. I saw a YouTube video like two hours ago, and then watched another YouTube video. <laughs> and this was a good YouTube video, the one I have up here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna post that in the chat. It's a really good YouTube video and it helps explain a lot of what I'm trying to do. But basically I already declared my arrays. I have a string array and I have an int array. And I do this int array and the string array separately because I don't feel like doing error checking for inputs on a 2D array. For example, if when when you put in a you put in a letter, for, what I'm trying to do is make a grammar. So all languages kind of have a logical thought process to them, and so this is like a really simple grammar machine, infinite state autonomous kind of machine, and um, so what you do is you have like let's say an A. And that A then goes to, is associated with a rule. And that rule could be go to a second state. So it goes to the second state. And then you type, you type in a B. And then you go to, and let's say that state stays the same whenever you type in a B. And if you type in another B, uh, while in state 2, you still stay in state 2. But let's say you type in a C. Well, it tells you you have to go back to state 1 and sort of thing. And it can get really complicated really fast. So that's why people make machines to do this and stuff like that. But 
we're going to basically I have all the preliminary stuff all set up so that's but that's basically why I've decided to use two arrays instead of a 2d array um, is because I want to keep my string and my ints or my numbers separate because my, my state numbers separate I don't feel like doing error checking so for the input of what the users end up do, doing because this is not really like a production style code for the most part it's more like a eh, let's do it kind of thing so let's get to it to it to it to it to it um actually first things first how how do i make the font bigger i've never had to do this before so bigger on netbeans Okay, increase font on NetBeans, Stack Overflow, you are a lifesaver in every scenario. Um, tools, options, there we go. Shouldn't knew that. Known that. New? I don't know. Okay, fonts and colors, and let's, uh... There we go, font. And let's put it up to 18. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, that looks golden. Okay, so let's look. So I take in all my input, and what I'm going to do now is kind of read out, or eh, do I want to read out? Because I want to compare to what somebody enters in. So let's actually do... Um, Let's actually start asking the user for a word that we can test to see if it works in the language that they're doing. Um, so enter word. And we should actually, do I, did I declare word? Yes, I did, sweet. Um, so we're gonna do, or, I'm going to do word dot input or equals input dot next and now we're going to hold that word and let's see so to test this what I'm going to want to do is actually parse this out because I don't feel like generating all the possible combinations. I rather just parse out the word, go through all the steps that I define in the rules that I ask the user for, and then test it like that. I feel like that's going to be a lot easier than actually. So we might have to make another array for string. Let's do. Uh, Entered word array. Oh no, I don't want it to be the same size as the one because those ones have the max amount of rules that the user is going to define. So let's actually. How do we parse into an array? That is the question. <laughs> hey, what's up, Super Gamer? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm not not the world's best Java programmer. Um, well, honestly, I just started like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> like I took a class long, long time ago, and it <laughs> it wasn't it didn't click. So now I decided to go back to it. Um, okay, so what do we what do I want to look up? Parse uh, string in Java. I want to parse the spring. This no, no, not spring. Um, I don't know how to parse things, but let's see. So string 
and then we're going to want to parse. Okay, actually this website has a cool little snippet of code. We might actually just take that really quick and play around with it. Oh, did I not properly copy it? <laughs> no, I did not fail. There we go. So, okay. So the phrase is the word. So we're going to set that equal to word very quick just for testing purposes. And then string token so the array is only written to. Okay, so that's how you do it. So we're going to throw it into an array called entered word we're going to call this string parse I think or actually we can just take in hmm actually How we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it a little more efficient. So entered word is now gonna be our parse. So um okay, so if entered string, so we're gonna go by the first uh ooh, we might have to get another count. So we're going to go by the first entered letter or letter on here and we're just going to walk through it by the rules that are defined by this. Um so we're going to take for example um so we're going to do uh for int i equals uh Let's see. We're going to have to get the word length as well. I have no clue how to do that either. <laughs> I actually, Java is a very good language because it works on everything. Um, even though it's porkish and all that, Corporate Grind likes Java, Super Gamer. And stuff like that. Like, Python is really cool. I actually like Python a lot. Um, C and C are awesome. Actually, C and C might. Like, there's a lot of, like, projects out there from, like, Google, Adobe that are trying to replace C and all that. And Java Java was supposed to be a replacement for C. It didn't quite do that. But it's kind of like a community split. Um, oh. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks, PLPL. Or I can't, the Molka. <laughs> We're going to go with PLPL. <laughs> There we go. I, sometimes I accidentally, out of habit, list uh, minimize things. So how we're going to do this is we're going to go through the whole word. I'm thinking we're going to go through the whole word, and okay. So so every num every letter in the word, we're going to compare that letter to everything in the array, the letter array. And when we find something that's in the letter array that's in the same count, we're going to go to the rule array, we're going to find the number associated, and then we're going to change the state 
didn't count to that number. And when we hit the end of the word, the parsed length of the word, if the state is equal to the is equal to rule, then like the rule number, I should have called it rule max or something, but if it's equal to rule, then it is in the grammar. So we're going to go all the way to the end state. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, cool stuff, man. Cool stuff, PLPL. <laughs> okay. So let's see. How, how are we going to do this out of the top of my head? Um... Like, I, the logic's all there, it's always the syntax that gets me. <laughs> so, like, I, for fun, the other day, or like, la like two weeks ago, actually, not the other day, I wrote out, like, a heap and all, all these different sorts, and I was like, cool, <laughs> now what? <laughs> and so I finally found this on YouTube. Um, hmm, let's see. So, for every every number counting the word of length, we're going to uh, we're going to have to loop through the whole array, letter array. So it's going to be a oh my god, we're going into triple nested for loops. I'm thinking. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. And then if, okay, so if we find a match, and let me close my door because my dog's barking like crazy. I should probably give him affection. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is true. It's difficult to s replace C. Um, okay, so if we find a match, so if entered word... Uh, oops, there we go. Word I, and we're gonna have to do like K for this one, so int K equals zero, and then We're going to basically just mirror off the same code for this one. Uh, length. Or we can just do r rule, uh, actually. Or no, we can do count. We can, set, we can reset count back to zero over here. Or, yeah, right here. So count, because we're going to have to do this multiple times. So, less than count. Hmm, no. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. Not a good idea. <laughs> uh, oh, I love the dog. <laughs> I have a I have a uh, poodle terrier mix, super manly, simple, simply manliest dog out there, and uh, he thinks he's he's like 14 now, and he thinks he can take on everything still, but I sure as hell love him. <laughs> okay, so hmm, it's going to be 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take the length and we're going to loop through the array letter word. So we're maybe we're just going to we're going to try it with the same. I don't know if this is right. Um, ooh, I, this is why I don't spell. <laughs> ooh, ah, <laughs> type fail. Okay, cool. And then. So if we find a match, so if entered word equals, oops, not ladder, ray, and then we're going to do k, then break. We're going to break out of this loop. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. What is the comparing? Use, okay, when comparing strings, use equal or equivalent or not equivalent. I am. Don't, don't, don't just throw those out when I'm doing it right, NetBeans. <laughs> okay. And then when we do find it, before we break, we're going to find we're going to find the state to move it to so we're going to increment all the way to the to the same one that we found k in so then state is now equal to that so state is equal to uh, rule away array. Ooh, not that. Um, K. There we go. And I don't know if this is going to break out of the entire loop, though. I could be terribly wrong. Um, okay, let me see what you're saying, PLPL. <laughs> oh, man. So, let array dot length, question mark. You should do equals, because it's objects, not numbers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's try that then. As I said, logic's down. <laughs> um, so, dot equals, and then we're going to put in parentheses. Okay, so that's a lot better. I don't want to invert the if. <laughs> NetBeans, you're so needy. <laughs> Ain't nobody want to deal with you right now. <laughs> okay. So to use enhanced for loop to iterate over the array. What does that mean? So, string, I don't, okay, I don't know what I just did. I'm just going to leave it the other way. <laughs> okay, so let's test it. So let's, um, let's see, or let's think about this right really quick. Um, let me go into XSplit and let's just put another window up. Um, no, let's, let's do this. There we go. This is probably really obnoxious to look at. <laughs> okay, so let me just open up a 
text file. Nope, that one has my Guild Wars information on it. <laughs> New. There we go. Okay, and we're going to add screen capture. There we go. And so let's think about this very quick. So we're going to set up rules. So we're going to just do like uh, three rules. So it's going to be a, a two. So we're, so we're going to set the max to two. So we're going to, because <laughs> like my teachers used to always say, or, well, they still do. <laughs> uh, zero is a perfectly good positive number. And so we're going to set this array. Uh, the rule, so the first rule, we're going to do A, and then and then we're going to do B, comma, 2, and we're going to do C, 1, and D, 3. So we're going to do, or no, let's do 0, or no, let's do 0 for A. Or no, zero. Ah, zero for B. We're gonna go back. Okay. We're gonna go to the first one, and then we're gonna go to the very last one if we have a D. Okay. And so, let's see. A. So under this rule set, a for example, an A, B, C would be not a good word. It wouldn't be accepted. So. Let's just very quickly switch over to that. Oh, nope, nope. I didn't think this through <laughs> at all. Actually, you know what? Let's just switch it to a full screen. Capture. There we go. We'll just get all this other stuff out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Now you see like the infinite. There you go. <laughs> uh, what a nerd. Ain't nobody want to listen to you, Jonathan. <laughs> Name dropping like crazy. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay. So, let's see. So, if it equals, then break. And then down here, we're going to put a end state. So if uh, oh no, what am I doing? So if state no, what am I? So if state equals to rule break and then we'll break out of this and we'll say or actually break and then word found or word is in the grammar rules extra m okay and then And then how do we how do we find out if it's not in it? So when this finally finishes looping, okay, so we should put this here. Okay, yeah. So rule set, and we should switch this to end program. So uh, what was that? System n I ah. Uh, We'll figure that out in a little bit. But what should work is if I just put A, B, C, D, E, or A, B, C, D, if I follow the logic that I put here. So let's uh, uh, just put it down here, like normal people. <laughs> there we go. Drop frames. No. OK. So ABCD should work because 
you're going from A to state state 1 and then it detects a B it goes back to state 0 and then it detects a C it goes back to state 1 and then a D state 2 okay so that should work so let's just test it very quick so what we're gonna do is the max number of rules so it's gonna be 2 for 3 and then letter that you want a rule associated with so we're gonna do A 1 B 0 C oh no wait Am I just completely derping now? IDE1. I love IDE1. I used to program in Ruby on that <laughs> in a scripting class. Okay. Okay, let's see. Before I look at that, your code, PLPL, because it's probably going to be significantly more professional than mine. <laughs> okay, let me just see if I can look at this. Is it just incrementing from... So it's... Okay, well, we'll go to... Th we'll just put in a 3 very quick. So... Uh, actually, if it loops all the way through, then st out the word wasn't found. Okay, and let's just stop debugging very quick and then run it again. So the max, we're going to go to 3, and we're going to say... A is 1, B is 0, C is 1, eh, let's just do A, B, C. And the word wasn't found. That's not right. Uh-oh. Well, let's, let's look at your... Okay, so system out print true. False, but it's the same. Never use on an object. I didn't know that. Never knew that. Okay. Where did I do that? <laughs> Oh, there it is. So, states. So, first object equals to second object is true. So, okay. Then int cannot be dereferenced. Hmm. But state is just an int and same as rule. Um, oh, so. Okay, so what I had earlier was fine. They're technically not objects. I'm still getting my head around the whole object oriented thing. Because building methods in Java is actually really easy and I could always put this into a method this entire thing right here 
Um, I might do that, but I'd rather get, see if I can get it working right now. So, why wasn't, why did it not go, let's actually go through it like this. So max number is 3, and we're going to do A, 1, B, 0, C, 1. So your, your, your jumping from, so your end, our end state is going to be 1, and we're jumping back and forth. So we're going, we're going to do an A, B, C, and word wasn't found. Uh, I forgot to put a breakpoint in there. <laughs> Come on, there we go, breakpoint. Yeah. So three, so A, one, B, zero, C, one. Oh, wait. I think I know why. So we're looping through. So it should be equal to no. Okay. So what is it doing that entered word was okay, we're gonna have to redo that again because it was checking up for the entered word equals to the uh, letter array, and let's just a. Oh no! Oh, I put in. <laughs> oh, that was okay. That was a huge bag of derps. Okay, so we're going one b zero c one. A, B, B. Why not? A little bit of variance is always cool. So, our entered word, we're going to the first thing in our entered word. Um, let's look at that very quick. That is A, B, B. And then we're going to look at letter array. So we're going to expand this one. A rule array. And we're going to do letter array as well. So A, B, C. So jump in. It should be equal to because I put an A, B, B. And yes, it's, it should be equal to. Um, so it should be equal to the zero. Okay, uh, still in there. It's going over here. Oh, it then jumps out. Why doesn't it like it? Is it comparing ints? That's probably why. Or is it not parsing? Let's see. Int is primitive, so you shouldn't use equal equal there. Okay. I mean, I don't have an equal equal right here, unless you mean down here, but of course that breaks everything. So the int state, the state never got incremented, although this one shouldn't actually work this word anyways. So equals to, so it's at entered word A, and then we're looping through it, but it should have got the first word. So we're going to the B now, and it didn't, it just 
completely skip the third letter. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if this does anything. Let's try it. So, oh, three and then A, one, B, zero, C, one, A, B, C. It still wasn't bound. Um, here, let's let's try to illustrate what I'm trying to accomplish for you guys very quick. So we have A. Oops, that's an N. <laughs> Okay, so we have state 1, state 2, or actually this is state 0. <laughs> That's a terrible 0. But now we're just making eyes. Okay, and so what we're doing is if it's an A, we jump over here. That's another terrible A. And then over here, if it's a B, Okay, and then C over here. It loops back if it's a C, but it also, whoops. Oh my god. Okay, you get it. <laughs> um, it loops back if it's a C, but if it's in state 0, it also goes to C. Or C also goes to And that's I think that's kind of what I'm getting at. I probably it's probably a primitive understanding of <laughs> an infinite state machine. Uh paint is the best. Pro status. Oh <laughs> Okay, so it's always good to draw out what you're trying to do, right? I, I like to convince myself that while eating copious amounts of just ice cream. Oh, wait, there we go. We're going to go and just, we're going to do this again. We're going to go back to that. Uh, Wait, first, no, we have to redo. There we go. Whoa, we went back too far. There we go. Okay. And it's all incrementing through. Uh, let's see. It should be equal. There we go. No, I don't want to do that. That's why it's not getting the third letter. Um, okay. So once it hits the max of the thing, because it wasn't getting to the top of the array stack, so that's why it was cutting off early. Um, let's see. Let's save. Save often. I actually, there was a, <laughs> I remember there was a movie, uh, Brave Little Toaster, and there was like, I don't know which one it was, there was like 20 of those movies, but there was a computer that was all like, he should have saved, he should, and that's always stuck with me. <laughs> I, I have no clue which one, and <laughs> which Brave Little Toaster movie it was anymore, I was a kid. Um, okay. Well, I wasn't really a kid. Yeah, I was. I was super. I was a super kid. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this again. Why is it not doing the comparison for the entered word equals? So it's comparing strings. Yeah, so let's let's just look it up very quick. Unless... Oh, oh, all right, yeah, by PLPL. 
Thanks for the help. I'm also typing this. <laughs> but yeah, get some sleep, dude. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see. Um, so we're going to... How to compare strings with string... Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> it should be that, but let's see if... Oh, this guy did it differently. Contains? Eh, I don't know about that. Content is equals. I mean, yeah, that's what I have. So if element is equal to user code, bound equals true, break. Hmm. I can do a Boolean uh, thing in the end. But let's let's see. And this is the part of the code where you get stuck. <laughs> and you just it's probably something really small and you're all like, no. And then three hours later after fourteen cups of coffee. I, to start this video, by the way, I drank five cups of coffee. Unsweetened, super strong. Probably terrible for my teeth. <laughs> okay. Um Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, actually, I'm going to phone a friend. I have a... F or, no, wait. I'm going to phone a book. Oh, yeah. I actually have a Java book right on my bed. I wish I had a camera for you guys to, like, see me look at this. Or show so I could show you. But let's go to the index. And we're going to find, no, not databases, we're going to find arrays, specifically using operators with arrays is what we're going to want to find. Okay, so algorithms, arrays, um, binary search, ooh, I might want to try that sometime. Or selection sort, that's cool. Arrays continued. Arrays starting off. So algorithms arrays. Arrays as arguments. Hmm. We're looking for arrays as string. There we go. String arrays. 445 to 448. Oh, <laughs> I opened the book and it went straight to 420. <laughs> oh, man. Insert like. Snoop Dogg and a whole bunch of like MLG horns. Okay, string arrays. So Java also allows you to create string objects. Here's a statement that creates an. Okay, that's good enough. Um. So if the index. No, that's looping through an array to show all the wonderful months and stuff like that. Uh oh. So they don't talk about comparisons, though. Hmm. How to check if two stack overflow. When in doubt, stack overflow. <laughs> I just opened two tabs. It's very quickly going to become Tab City <laughs> in my browser. <laughs> okay, so two arrays are equal. So... Array element equal to another. Whoa. I should always always put job at the end because then you get everything. Array okay equals versus arrays equal. Hmm. Oh man, so I was told never by uh, PLPL earlier in the chat before he went to bed 
that you should never use uh, the double equal equivalent sign when using objects when comparing objects. So let's see. I might have to sleep on this, but for the most part, we got the main logic out of the way. The only thing I want to check now. Is I think we got the main logic out of the way. Is why this isn't working right here. Hmm. Let's actually test it with the equal equal, <laughs> even though you shouldn't. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> straight up, straight up. <laughs> huh, huh. Use equals. Okay, so we had that earlier, and then what are the other options that NetBeans is throwing out? Invert? No. Equals tenny. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if that works. What does it invert? No, we don't want to do that. Nope. <laughs> Exclamation point means like opposite if you want to have it in like layman's terms, I think. You're gonna have like a lot of unsure question marks in my head <laughs> or something. Because this is kind of my thought process when uh programming anything for that matter. Except for web design. I don't really like web design particularly, so I end up just staring at the screen for hours, hitting my head because it won't work in one browser and it will in the other. So we're going to do three uh, rules and we're going to do A goes to one. Remember our paint little <laughs> pro status drawing? It, well now it looks like a deformed <laughs> a deformed like puppy or something. <laughs> That's, oh my god, it's a potato with eyes. Okay, so our second, so A goes to 1 right here. So A is going for, to 1 from state 0. And then B is going back to state 0. And then C is going to state 1. And then enter word. And uh, do, 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 A, B, C, and that should work. No, it didn't. Why did it break? Right here. I guess it's, oh, it's because it's making the things a null value. I should have made that. Okay, so let's just try it with that very quick. So, A, 1. B, 0, C, 1, A, B, C. It should say this word is in the grammar rule set. And no, it's not. Okay, so we're just going to go back to the equals. So, 3 once again. A, 1, B, 0. C one A B C Y Y Y is it not wanting to cooperate? Program two. Okay, let's see. Um hmm. I think I might phone a friend in a little bit, but actually, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna just sleep on it for a second. Um, unless this is what uh, uh what you call it? Whoops! No, I didn't want to do that. This is what PLPL sent in the chat earlier.
maybe... I don't know. I'm going to probably just sleep on it. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, you guys. I, You actually, I'll be honest, you guys actually helped me motivate myself to do this. And I greatly appreciate everything that you guys are doing. But nonetheless, I haven't been streaming for a long... Like, I took a huge break because... <laughs> Uh, just life happens. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just chill out for a little bit and see if I could call somebody up and s see if they can help me out. And then I'll, if I figure it out, I'll be back on. But until then, catch you later and see you guys in the future.